Hey guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this low poly typography animation in Blender. This is gonna be easy tutorial, so let's get started. Okay guys, first up, we need to add our text. So I'm gonna press Shift A and add a text. And as you can see, it's not in the middle. So let's go to font properties. And here I will set the uh, alignment to uh, center. As you can see now it in the center. Uh, now uh, press tilt on your keyboard and go to right camera angle and now press R and let's rotate it by minus 90 degree. Now as you can see it in the front view. Now press tab and then let's type anything you want. I'm gonna type low poly like this. If you want to different font you can go to font and here go to regular you can find any font you like. For this tutor, I will give some bold text like this. Okay, now we need to convert this into a mesh. So let's right click, convert to mesh. Okay, now if you press space bar, as you can see, now we have a text mesh. Now press A to select all, and then let's extrude it a little bit like this. Okay, looks good. Now let's add a decimate modifier. So go to this modifier properties at modifier and here we can find decimate modifier. This will give us that uh, low poly effect. So I'm gonna drag this down until we got that low poly effect like this. Like this should work. Okay. Now I'm gonna uh, apply this modifier. So press Ctrl A or you can select this arrow and press apply okay let's go to shading properties and here we can add some shade to the text i'm gonna add a new shader and let's call this low poly text here uh, we need to add our text i have a nice site uh, this color hunt website you guys can pick any color palette you want uh, after that click here and here we can download this image after you download it you can open the blender and then drag and drop this image file here now we have this image file here and i'm gonna connect it to base color like this but as you can see it's not perfect that's because our uv is not aligned now let's go to uv editing tab and here we have this text and i'm gonna press a now let's press u and I'm gonna reset it. Now press A on the keyboard and it will select all the uh, UVs. Go to UV and then press Pack Island, okay? Now select this individual origin option and then press S and press zero on your keyboard. It will scale it down to zero, okay? Now let's go to viewport shading. As you can see, now we have this colorful text. Now let's go back to the shading properties here select this color image and then press ctrl t that's because you haven't enabled that node wrangler add-on so let's go to edit preferences and here go to add-ons search for node wrangler add-on as you can see in this case i enable it uh, if you not you can tick this and then select this and press ctrl t on your keyboard it will Bring this texture coordinate and mapping node, okay? Now let's animate the uh, low poly text. For that, we can use this Y value, as you can see. Now uh, let's bring our timeline. So I'm gonna select here and right click, press horizontal split. And as you can see, now we can bring the timeline here. Now select the mapping node and then let's create a keyframe in the Y axis. Right click, insert single keyframe. Now go to end of this timeline. Here I use 250 frames. You guys can use any frame you like. Now I will increase this around two. Okay, let's right click and then press insert single keyframe again. Now let's press space bar to check it out. Okay, looks pretty cool. Now let's select these keyframes and press T and then select this linear interpolation okay looks good as you can see now we have simple animation like this now let's go to layout again 
Now we can add a camera. So let's press Delta key and go to front view. I'm going to press Shift A and then add a camera. Let's bring this camera here. Let's also create a new window. And here I will press zero to view from the camera and then press N. Here you can go view and select this camera to view. We can now set a nice camera position. Something like this. Now let's also add a background. Right click mesh plane. Now let's go to right view. R let's rotate it by minus 90. Let's bring it here now press s to scale it up until it fills the background let's also bring it in the y axis like this now press s and scale it okay now let's also add some lights to the scene press shift a and then light here i will add a area light let's also bring it up and then increase it you can go light properties here i will give 1000 power Let's go to EV view. Here I will set the scene light and scene world. Okay. So we can see the light. You can also press shift D to duplicate it and then rotate it. And yeah, basically play with the light settings. Okay. I will leave it up to you. You can also press shift D to duplicate again and Basically set the three point lighting effect. You can decrease the power of the light. You can also increase the size to get the soft light effect. Okay. I think this should be pretty good. If you press the space bar, as you can see, now we have low poly animation like this. You can also animate the camera if you want. I think yeah in the y axis just like we did with the text okay this looks pretty good if you want to change the background color you can select this plane go to material properties and here you can give some different random colors that could work for the color palette I think I will stick with this one. You can also increase the specular and decrease the specular. Also rough, play with the roughness. I think, yeah, I wish stick with this. You can go to EV. You can also use the cycle render. Go to render properties here. I will set the cycle. Okay. Now press Ctrl B and only view the camera like this. I think this should be pretty good. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching. I will definitely come back with another Blender tutorial as well. Don't worry, I am not stopped that uh, doing after your tutorial. Uh, thank you so much for the Patreon supporters. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.